back on the trail i have decided i am sick and effing tired of uh slip sliding down the stairs when it's raining i don't want to be trapped upstairs when it's raining uh in the river house so we're in doi suket which is northeast of downtown about 15 20 minutes looking at a pretty nice house it's got the gate parking for two cars and a couple of bikes it's got the privacy wall around it nice gardening uh, the gardening is included in the price which is 35,000 baht that's a little over 1,000 US so if you're impressed with this house and it looks pretty nice um, it's 10,000 baht $300 US roughly uh, cheaper a month than the river house which is old and creaky and well did I mention I fell down the steps twice so this is kind of cool right off the bat this is cool it has a um a little shade that you can lower um you know with these floor to ceiling windows here i guess if it gets too hot inside nice lawn ah an infinity pool that will work Coon Greg, not just Greg, but Coon Greg. Sorry. So uh, yeah, nice infinity pool. It's big enough. Obviously, it's not going to be the same size as the river house, which is a used pool. But I mean, it's good enough to to get wet, swim some laps. It's got the lights in it. Nice little cocoon type thing, hangout area. We'll go inside and and walk around, but. So far, so good. And you know, once again, three three hundred bucks a month. Not that that's make or break, but I just love the fact that I found two houses that are cheaper than the one I'm living in, and they seem to be much nicer. So the the floor to ceiling opens. It's a slider, and you can get in here to the living room. Very cool little garden in the back. Oh, let me pause the thing so I don't drop the phone again like I did last time. All right. So they just moved out. Yeah, the, uh, the realtor, Nat, told me that people, yeah, just move out. So we're okay with that. Okay, so they actually have a TV in the living room, unlike the cheap landlord at the River House. A TCL, the Sony brand, but cheap Chinese, but still TV. Probably, I don't know, 42 inches, maybe, maybe a 50 inch. Um, and once again, shades everywhere for when it's hot and you just want to cocoon up. So, nice size living room, nice size couch, dining room, big fridge, ample cabinets, hood above the stove, only a two burner stove. I mean, um, except for the, the time we had the big party, I think I've only used uh, two burners. So I can get by with that. Plus I have a uh, electronic, uh, I have a, like an electric thing that heat water up quickly so I can use that. Double sink, it doesn't have the pot washer, but that's all right. No dishwasher, but that's all right. The, the girls never used it since we've had it. Oven, which is nice, like I said, Thanksgiving time. And it's got the microwave. So yeah, I mean this will this will work. Definitely, he's got everything we need. Little countertop for the kitchen. Uh, nice little dining table, kind of small. Once again, beautiful pool, and shades inside and out. So you've got the maroon shades throughout the interior, plus that black uh, tarp-like thing I showed you upstairs. Yeah, we're gonna climb stairs, but you notice. It has a ceiling over it. What a novel idea to have the stairs so they don't get soaked with rain. So you slip and break your friggin' butt. So yeah, that's what, more than anything, that's what triggered. I, I hate the house, it's an old house, but 
more than anything, uh, slipping and fucking dislocating my arm and breaking four toes is the reason we're here today. So it looks like a nice new washer, bigger than the one we have now, which is she, she does a load of laundry almost like every day because it's so small. Oh, what do we have here? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. This isn't even the master, I don't think. Maybe it is, but damn. That's a, that's a nice little setup right there. And yeah, dude, I'll tell you what, when I did slide down the steps and, and banged my butt all the way down in my back, bruised my kidneys, uh, this would have felt really good. <laughs> a nice hot bath. I mean, this is, this is, this is cool. Uh, little small problem up there. Looks like they gotta replace a light, maybe a bathroom upstairs. A lot of times bathrooms share wet walls, so there might be a bathroom uh, upstairs. Oh, hello, pink flamingo boy. Um, but yeah, nice, very nice. I like the little tiny garden on the side, out back. Yeah, cool, cool. One sink, which if this is the master, I don't know. I don't know how often we use this sink at the same time. Is this the master? Master bedroom? Upstairs, okay. Did you see the tub? Hey, eh? There's a tub in there. No. Chai. So this would be like a guest room? You can have to leave that there. I can? Oh, all right. <laughs> yes, I see my feet. I feel my feet. I'm walking on my feet. That's kind of cool. Little canal type deal with some chairs <laughs> to hang out. Yeah. Yeah, TV in the bedroom. Little shelf. Yeah, yeah. As long as the stairs aren't wet, I'm fine. <laughs> try, try stairs are no problem whatsoever. <laughs> I can walk upstairs. It's not going down wet stairs. All right, so at the top of the stairs, which are dry, <laughs> because they have a ceiling over them, uh, and are wider than the ones uh, in the, the river house. When I put my foot down, there's still space at the end, whereas uh, my foot takes up the entire stair. So they're narrow, they're covered with polythene, they're polyurethane, they're slippery um, and wet because they're outside. So this is inside stairs, like a normal house. Nice little hangout. You talk about have your coffee and just, you know, enjoy the, the scenery. <laughs> There's no, there's no river here, but it's nice and quiet and peaceful. That's a cool chair. Big old wagon wheel. And two little divots in the chair. Huh, cool. Yeah, very nice neighborhood, quiet. So here's the master. That's a king size, six foot bed. Nice doors. Fairly new aircon unit. Pretty cool. We can put the TV there, that's fine. Did you see the chair, eh? Hmm? Outside, do you see chair? chair? No, over here, over here, over on the side. Kind of cool, little wagon wheel chair. See? Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Chai, there she is. A girl reflecting on nature. <laughs> uh, so nice tile. Yeah. Very nice tile. Two little nightstands. And a walk-in closet. Wow. I have this is the first walk-in closet I have seen in Thailand. So it's got the same dresser, armoire, whatever you want to call it. Is this the first walk-in closet you've ever seen? Or you walk in? Yeah, me too. Usually the closet's uh, outside. And then, of course, that joins to the bathroom. Master bath. That's a cool little suspended two, two draws. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Definitely different. And there's your two-person shower. That works. Nice size. 
meets the requirement. Glass block. Yeah, yeah, this is, I haven't, I haven't seen a deal breaker yet. It's all pretty nice. I think a Western person, the the guy, the tall guy who pulled up on the scooter, uh, he's Austrian or German or something, Norwegian, who the hell knows, but he's a Frank, obviously. And you can tell the choices they made are different than the ones Thai people make. So three bedrooms. Two upstairs, one downstairs. Where, where are you from? What country? French. French. French? Wow, you're tall for France. <laughs> wow. All right, I shot this little area from inside the house, but I figured you all deserved a little close-up of the little canal down here. Kind of a cool place just to sit and, and yeah, don't drop the phone, idiot. Uh, cool place to sit and just hang out. Uh, that house is owned by a Farang. Uh, the owner here is French. He disclosed to me. So I whipped out my Je suis Babar Rode de Elephant. I'm Babar King of the Elephants. <laughs> and he was very impressed. And then I did my stupid pet trick of counting to, to 10, 1 to 10 in French. And he, because he wants me to rent his house, he said my French was very good. But it sucks. But anyway, yeah, this is just a cool little place. You hang out. There's a little bench. Uh, obviously, I bought a table and chairs for the river house. So if we moved here, I would bring the uh, table and chairs. This, they're small. It's just a small table, four small chairs. And we could put it right here. One, one, one over there and one over here. And have a little, you know, dine by the canal type deal. I had no idea there was a canal here. I didn't see it in the photos. So... That's just an added benefit to this place. Uh, once again, 35,000 baht, which is just a, a hair over um, 1,000 US. And that includes the uh, gardener, main, you know, lawn maintenance, and it includes the uh, pool maintenance, which uh, runs anywhere from 5,000 to 8,000 baht a month here.